So, uh, I've got my little, uh, this is what I use most of the time for anything to do with paint, just this little two-sided thing, whatever it is. Uh, I've got water in one side here and then this side is just empty. I can put my paints in there and then I can add the water in. So, my uh, favourite paints to use for pretty much everything are these aqua colour little blue tubs. Get them on Amazon and eBay. And I'll take me some red. Pop it in here. A bit of water. Mix that in. I'm also going to put in a little bit of black as well. A tiny bit of black because it's too bright red. You know, it's uh, a little bit too much. There you don't want it to be too watery because then when you spray it, it's just going to drip everywhere and run. You don't want it to run, you want it to hit the surface and stay put. So you don't want it to be too watery. Alright, so now I've done that. And we'll just move the camera up a bit. And now you will see. Right, so on a bigger thing, like if you were doing a mask, um, then you want kind of bigger blobs. Now obviously you could just kind of do this and you get a nice uh, blood spray like that. Uh, and I used to use toothbrushes for the fine, you know, flick the bristles and then a fine spray would go, but it's too fine, it's too small. So you kind of get off the excess and then what I do is I get a brush like this with this kind of head on the top, that kind of flat, and then I tap the brush against my finger You get this uh, really nice fine spray that you can see there. So that's what I'm going to be doing with Bateman's raincoat. You basically want to have something somewhere so that you can get all the excess, you know, all the bulk of the paint off first because you don't want it to be really wet and you know you want to get a fair bit of it off. See where I'm at now is basically the perfect situation. So right, right around this area. see that you get a really nice fine spray and that is what we're after for Bateman's raincoat so you can see there yeah the finger tapping technique is really good I think although I've uh, my fingers gone numb now <laughs> from all the tapping And if you stay in the one area and just keep going like that in the one spot, it will just gradually build and build. So I'll just zoom in on that for you. So yeah, a really nice, uh, it's a really nice effect, you know. It's nice and easy to do, but definitely practice on stuff before you start doing it to high-end collectibles but I think we're good to go now now I've got my raincoat just conveniently had the Blitzway Tyler Durden shower here with the coat hanger that came with it and I'm gonna just use that to keep the uh, coat in position but I don't want the blood spray to go on this side only uh, this side here and in the movie I've checked it's just around the collar around the shoulder a little bit on the top of the arm and it sort of comes down here a little bit as well so I'm just trying to figure out how to cover up the other side so it doesn't get any blood spray on it all right so what I'm actually going to do as crude as it is is just tape over the side that I don't want to get any spray on I've already covered up the main bulk of that side just need to cover up the arm All right, 
that is all covered up and I'm ready to go. And I'm going to get to it now. Now remember, we don't want it to be too watery because then when it hits the surface, it's just going to drip down and we don't want that. So, I mean, you might want that a little bit, but not too much. All right, so we get me red on there. It's nice and it's not too bright. I'm going to get the excess off. And now I'm going to go for it. Let me zoom in a little bit first for you so you can see. I hate doing stuff like this. <laughs> you know, it's just the pressure's on because you're recording yourself, which just makes it more stressful. Plus, you're worried that people can actually see what you're, you know, what you're trying to show them. So hopefully you can see that. Would it be better if I remove this? Let's see. All right, here we go. <laughs> nice. I, I've got the really, really, really fine spray effect, as you can see there. But I think I do want slightly, a little bit in places around the shoulder area, just a little bit more intense. So, won't get rid of quite as much of the excess this time. All right. Now I don't want to go too far. This is the thing. I think that's about it. Now I'm gonna have to let that dry. I'm gonna leave it for like half an hour. I don't think I want to go too much further than that. I think that's that's pretty much enough. I'm also gonna be doing a bit of blood on the axe as well. All right, just going handheld so you can see. I still need to let this dry. So I'm just gonna leave it for a little while. Didn't go too heavy. And the sellotape's still on the other side to keep it from getting any splashes on it. That's about it. I've added a little bit of the EBA blood to the head sculpt and also added some spray. That sort of carries on over to the other side a little bit. I'm just waiting for this to dry. Alright folks, so back in the collection room here and he's all done and you'll see this, you know, in its true, well it's its true form now, but there is a showcase video coming up, that's going to be the next thing I do is a big showcase video on this figure, lots of poses, and this will certainly enhance the look for the, you know, this famous scene from the movie. Spray is quite fine, and then as we go up, there we go. And I also had some spray across his face as well, which I think really helps it. I also added some EBA blood to the bloody side of his face, so it looks a bit more shiny and gnarly. And that's it, folks. Um, you know, like I said, practice on something first, and it's quite simple to do. It's, it's one of the easier mods, and it will enhance your axe-wielding, raincoat-wearing completely psychotic Patrick Bateman moment on your shelf or in your detail for whatever you are going to be doing with them but yeah check out the review if you haven't seen it I'm sure most of you watching this have already watched the review but check out that for sure I know it's a long one but I wanted to go nice and in-depth for you and then next will be the big showcase video and do me a favor drop a like on these videos for me and make sure you are subscribed follow me on Instagram at Dean Free 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 I'll see you soon with more Patrick Bateman action Thank you.